I'm Dan Kleffler in New York with this ABC News Digital Special Report. George Zimmerman, the man acquitted in July for the shooting death of Trayvon Martin, apparently in trouble again with the law today. ABC's Aaron Katursky is joining us now live with the latest on this development. And Aaron, what do we know so far? A word comes from the Seminole County Sheriff's Department that deputies responded to a residence in Apopka, Florida. That's about 15 miles or so out of Orlando. And there they arrested George Zimmerman a short time ago on a domestic disturbance call. We don't have any details of what exactly took place in that home, but uh, George Zimmerman has now been arrested. He's being processed in, in the same place where he had spent so much time on trial for murdering Trayvon Martin, a charge he was ultimately, as you said, Dan, acquitted of. So we're taking a look at some aerial shots there, and we do know now, Aaron, that, that you had said that, that uh, he is in police custody, though. Uh, this is not, though, his first brush with the law since that headline-making acquittal back in July, though. No, no, not at all. In fact, he's had trouble staying clear of trouble. Uh, immediately afterward, there was a couple of calls uh, for speeding, and finally he was given a speeding ticket for about 250 bucks, and uh, he was stopped in a couple of different states. And then he was also accused of theft by a, a relative, and he was accused most seriously of domestic violence, punching his estranged wife just after she had served him with divorce papers. So trouble seems to be following George Zimmerman. Uh, he also made headlines when he visited uh, Caltech, the manufacturer of the 9 millimeter gun that he had used to shoot Trayvon Martin. Some critics said it was a bit insensitive for him to do it, given the uproar over the, the shooting death of Martin. Uh, now there, there are these, uh, this new arrest. We don't have the, the exact charges yet. Well, the Seminole County Sheriff's Department tells us that he's been arrested after some kind of a disturbance call at a residence. Very, very early on in this, but certainly something that we will, of course, be keeping an eye on uh, as well. ABC's Aaron Katursky following the very latest developments coming out of Florida. Aaron, thank you for that. We will have a complete report as those developments become more available right here on ABCnews.com. For now, I'm Dan Kleffler in New York.